What's up operators, this is Jet Desert Fox, and welcome to my brand new series, Umbrella Armories. In this series, we're going to be showcasing the capabilities of Umbrella Armories and how they can take a regular AEG and turn it into an absolute monster of a gun. Let's take some time and get to know more about this amazing company and the guys running it. Hey everyone, I'm Phil. I'm Jordan, and we're co-founders of Umbrella Armories. The idea behind Umbrella is to offer reliable and affordable repairs to your entry-level airsofters, but also build the finest aftermarket guns for your seasoned enthusiast. So a little history about Umbrella. We started as a team back in 2010, and uh, you know, after playing together for a while and watching all of our guns break down, we saw a real demand for specialized tech work. So you know, I approached them with the idea about creating a specialized tech firm and you know the idea really bloomed into this you know growing fan base and here we are today um, Umbrella Armories is up and running our goal of this video series is to show you how far we can enhance your average airsoft gun and to really push the limits of your standard AEG now that we know what Umbrella Armories is all about and a little bit of their history let's get into the tech work Hey guys, for this episode's build, we're gonna build the ultimate CQV sleeper gun. I got this clear gun from online, and we're gonna install a DSG, a high torque motor, some mo a MOSFET, and probably change out the gearbox too. Hey guys, for the sake of time, um, this is the stock gearbox. I already have some of the upgrades done already, but I'll tell you in detail what I did to it. A ZCI piston. So for, for the ZCI piston, I switch cheesed it to make it lighter. It causes a lot less stress on the pickup tooth. And the reason why I took out the un unnecessary teeth was to also to save weight because with a DSG, unlike a normal gear, it only pulls it back a certain point. So. The reason why I didn't take that one off is so I can still put a 9 tooth DSG if I really wanted to. And it was more to save weight. We have a Riot DSG. It is 8 tooth, not the, the newer 9 tooth one. I'm using a ZCI Spur Gear 1801 and a KWA Bevel. Most notably because be the bevels on the KWAs don't exactly strip that often. They're very tough. For the gearbox portion, if you're wondering why this is so shiny, is this is a retro arms gearbox. It is CNC'd out of a 7075T6 billet from Czechoslovakia. I have a ZCI piston head, ported piston head, an SHS tappet plate, and we are using the stock SRC full cylinder and cylinder head because it is double O-ring and I did not need to change it at all. For the wiring, we wired it to a MOSFET, which I dual wired. So there's actually two MOSFETs in there in parallel to share the, the heat load. The spring I'm using is an SHS M170, which I trimmed down to get the right FPS. And so this gun isn't shooting too hot and it's also efficient. The motor is a ZCI balance motor. It is 16 TPA for those who, who know their motors. Now let's put this beast together. All right, ready to shoot. <laughs> All right, operators, we're here at Tax City Fullerton in Southern California. The upgrades to the sleeper gun are all finished. We're gonna hit the field and test fire this bad boy. And what we're gonna test fire it on is some green peppers. 
All right, operators, it's time to pepper some peppers with plastic. done shooting and here is some of the destruction from the sleeper gun you see this pepper is just <laughs> pretty much cut into pieces I didn't really shoot that one all that much take a look at this one. Oh, that, that one's all nice and juicy this one's pretty gone too but this, this is the one that took the brunt of it Wow look at that even came out the back pretty messy all right operators that's going to wrap up this very first episode of umbrella armories if you enjoyed what you saw and you'd like to see a specific gun build or specific tech upgrade let me know in the comments below as always this is jet desert fox and i'll see you on the field and he's going to give us the lowdown on the brand new sistema ptw Today, we're gonna to take a look at the American PTW. So we're pretty excited about this. Um, it does feature the Sistema internals, so you do have the classic Sistema P2 